In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. Pray also there shall be no more delay. In the fulfillment of your word in my life. There shall be no more delay. There shall be no more delay. Let the heaven hear your voice for where you are. Pray for In Jesus' precious name, begin to thank him for the answered prayers. Give him thanks. This is the confidence touching every dry and dying situations and circumstances, and they are brought back to life. Let it be a performance of your word this morning. In Jesus' precious name. Put your hands together for the Lord. In the early church, the people believed that God's word was lacking because the angel told them at Matthew and said that this same Jesus, the same way you see him go, similar manner, he will come back. And as years were going back, they felt that the word was not getting fulfillment. So Apostle Peter had to write them in the second Peter chapter 3 verse 9. And here is admonition. And that's a great fact this morning. Great truth that we learned this morning that will transform your life. The Lord, Apostle Peter said that is not true. He's not being patient. Praise God. And whatever God has spoken to you, that is a promise. No matter how you feel that it has delayed or it has lacked or it's not coming to pass, I want to get to tell you the word of God this morning. The prophetic banner over us this morning, this morning, that there's going to be a divine fulfillment of every promise of God concerning your life. You need to hold that word by faith. On Wednesday, I define what divine fulfillment means. It means accomplishment. It means perfect certain purpose in your life, in our lives. Praise God. So we look at it. He said there'll be accomplishment of that which it was targeted at. There'll be a perfecting. There's something that you have done in your life. And God is bringing perfection, as we are hearing me this morning. It will bring that dream, bring that expectation, bring that desire, bring that hope. It will bring it to pass. It will complete what He has started. There shall be outright performance of everything and consummation, bringing to total fulfillment, conclusion of the promise. And this promise is. For the mental attitude of God that is different from God, is the one that says a thing, says a thing, and bring it to pass. Is the one that promises and has the capacity to keep. Why do people fail in keeping promises? Because they lack the capacity to fulfill it. I don't want to give it to our politicians. Either they lack Character, character capacity, or they lack intellectual capacity. Capacity. They made them to read over and over until they could read well. It's okay now; you can read it. And we are holding him accountable. They lack capacity. They may have good intention, but God has a good, good intention for you, and He has the capacity to make His intention good. Is that clear? God has good intention. They thought, I the one that make it poor and the one that make rich is the one that take the beggar from the dunghill and cause him to sit on throne among the princes to sit at table, to dine at table with princes and kings. Do 
you will get it. Because the expectation, the hope of precious, you might be in the pit, but you are not finished. What God has impressed on your heart and what he wants to do to you, no scheme of man. I love that him we serve this morning. There's no scheme, there's no that can do plan. His dream didn't. It still carried who say he will make you something. He will make you. Praise the Lord. So, God was committed to his dream. God was committed to his dream. And God brought people his way. That is a significant factor. God brought people his way that to make it because they wanted to, to kill him. Now they escape from death. To slavery and to a prison. Who is the spirit of God? I said, the spirit of God yourself. But when they had dreams, the spirit of God, that is the dream. The of the dream. I said, this is the interpretation. And nevertheless, his situation, he interpreted the dream. And it came to pass. Exactly. God now caused a situation to arise. I pray today something happen in this nation. Somebody, something, someone that you are the only one to fix it. You don't understand. Praise God. And he said, there's someone in the prison. Say, bring him. And the story, the guest of it, you know. Joseph, dream came to pass. People who dried God and call God a liar will never see the fulfillment of God's way. We had a sister in church before. I went to in the university. The president of the fellowship proposed to marry her. We were serving God actively together. And like many of those relationships in the, uh, behind the, uh, the university wall and gate, when the young man graduated, he abandoned her. She confessed. Years later, I said, look, of all my service to God, the brother failed me. So there was no more any need to be seriously committed to God. And I told him, that brother is not fit for you. But he, she could not overcome it. Praise God. I've not heard of her wedding till this moment. Am I celebrating? No. I'm sad. And I said, the part you are taking will not make God to act on your behalf. You don't protest to God. You, you state your faith in Him. He calls all things to work together to them that love Him. Including two this week, ladies that kill one, a husband, the second one. It's for your good. That our brother did not go is for your good. All things. Because others have gone, they didn't survive. 
พราะถ้าสามารถยูมัสฮับพอสติฟอัตติทูทัสก็ไปก็ไม่ใช่แต่ถ้าสุดท้ายคุณเลิกก็ดันโอเคทุกอย่างมันทำงานโอ้โหและมันเสร็จไปโอ้โหและโอ้โหโอเคทุกอย่างมันทำงานโอ้โหและโอ้โหโอเคทุกอย่างมันทำงานโอ้โหและโอ้โหโอเคทุกอย่างมันทำงานโอ้โหและโอ้โหโอเคทุกอย่างมันทำงานโอ้โหและโอ้โหโอเคทุกอย่างมันทำงานโอ้โหและโอ้โหโอเคทุกอย่างมันทำงานโอ้โหและโอ้โหโอเคทุกอย่างมันทำงานโอ้โหและโอ้โหโอเคทุกอย่างมันทำงานโอ้โหและโอ้โหโอเคทุกอย่างมันทำงาน God Himself saw, said they will meet obstacle. This forty day, this speed lane, it will not land them in the promised land. It was God who rerouted their journey. Am I correct? It's also Satan. He said they will meet a giant. So what is the essence of being bringing them out of Egypt? Be followers of them. Who through faith and patience have obtained the promise? Praise God. His word cannot fail. His word cannot fail. There's hope of victory, even though it's cut down. Even though it's cut down, it is proud again. Proverbs twenty three eighteen. There's surely a hope. There's surely a future and a hope for you. I don't know whom the Lord is speaking to. See, sure. When God means sure, surely. Proverbs twenty three nineteen. Surely, there's a hope. There's a future. There's a future and a hope for you. And your hope will not be cut off. Expect divine fulfillment of God's promises in your life. But surely there is an end, and that expectation shall not be cut off. That the King James, NIV, NLT say there is surely a future for you. I love that. There is a future for me. Nobody can we can say you are hopeless. A future of greatness, a future of fulfillment of everything. There is a future for me. My hope, my expectation, will not be cut off. In similar manner, Job fourteen seven to nine, there is hope of a tree. If it be cut down, branch new. Can you give me another version? Are you in jail? Say turn that brown, and surely the mountain falling. What, what are you showing? Fourteen seven. Turn that branch, turn that leaf, fresh, succulent, scenting fine. Of Job fourteen verse seven. I read the souls in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground. Yet through the scent of water, through my word, water represents what? Through the scent. So the word we are receiving this morning is spirit, is life. Through the scent of water, it will pop and bring forth bars like a plant. Praise the Lord! It will pop the world. So that's why it's good to pay attention to the world. 
Psalm 119 verse 140. Your word is pure. Your testimony is good. It will be tested over and over. That's why I, your servant, love thee. Do you hear that? Your testimony is pure. Your word is liable. Other translation. God has been tested and tested and found to be true. Therefore, ah, your servant feet. Do you hear that? So the word of God has been tested over and over. The word of God has been tested over and over. Say, therefore, I, your servant, love thee. So you need to rely on the word. Verse 140. I want us to look at it very quickly. Let's see the various, various shades of the interpretation. 140 of Psalm, Psalm 101. The word is very pure. Therefore, my heart loves it. In James. NIV. Your promises have been truly tested. And your servants love them. Do you hear that? Your promises have been totally tested. You know why David was saying that? The psalmist. He has been in the bush and he has called the God of his father to deliver lion into his hand. He had been in the bush relying on the kid tiger. And here is a Goliath. He said, look, I have stated your word. I have applied your word. I have put your word to work. And I have seen it working for me. Will somebody put God's word to work? Test the word by yourself. Say, I have tested it. Your word has been tested thoroughly. Your he does not. At this time, it is not, it's not one who will be arguing the gospel with God was. It's not analyzing the gospel. Anything they want to say, you will apply. It came to a conclusion. Your word is pure. There's no impurity. Concerning his finances, is the one who will test. The one who will lay sacrifices. Praise God. A day he had, not even had, the Lord himself was very annoyed with him. I was killing everyone. He cried to the Lord. To the Lord. And the prophet came to him to offer a sacrifice. Are you getting me right? He said, go and offer a sacrifice. I was in the Valley of Adlam. So he went to meet this God, a godly man. And then he wanted to buy a sheep. No, he wanted. That man said, if it's for a sacrifice for the Lord, I'm giving you free. Are you getting right? If it's a, a sacrifice for God, if this thing that I have is to serve God, I'm giving it free. Do you hear the, the uh, mentality? Say, say anyone you like to serve God, take it. Yet he said no. I don't want the blessing to come to you. I want the blessing. I must pay. Slaughter the sheep and immediately the plague stayed. Because he had, he had learned from the word go. After the flood, the Lord demanded a sacrifice. Praise God. And after that, the Lord said, okay, I will not do this kind of thing to you again. Do you hear that? Do you hear God's word? Ah, 
I will not do this kind of thing. I will not wipe you off like this again. Let me give you a sign. That's why you are still having a rainbow. Isn't it? It's a sign that I will not destroy the world by flood again. Someone's attitude to compare a breakthrough? Or oh. what do you believe him for? And when his word plays a demand on you, how do you do it? Give. It shall be given to you. Good measure. Press together. Running together. Shall men. I'll connect you to men. As earlier, anything God wants to do is to connect you to men. I'll connect you to men. That will give you. That will show you way. That will show you opportunity. What you do? Say, no, that's not part of my gospel. That's not part. Just pray for me for miracle. Pray for breakthrough. Pray for spirit. Forgive him. Amen. You find traditional like that. Some people, any church, many churches, any day they know they want to raise building projects, they will not be in church. They know the program of the church. If there will be all tower, they are raising money today in the church, they will not be there. So that they will not even pay the phone or give. So they excuse themselves. Praise God. I've tested your word. I've tested your word. I've put it to practice. And let me quickly say three things. Oh, yeah, three things. How to experience divine fulfillment. Ask for forgiveness of sin. If there's anything as a barrier, you know you are born. The Bible say, when you pray, when you confess his or sin, he forgives, he washes you. Because sin is a barrier. Isaiah 59, 2. But your iniquities have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. So sin is a reason why God doesn't hear people. So Administer your life to a life of righteousness. A life of righteousness by His grace, determination. If your spirit knocks you about something, don't resist. Praise the Lord. Number two, promise to fulfill all my vows. That is what David said. He said, I, I pay my vows. He said, I pay my vows. Many vow was of his covenant work with God. It is out of this place. Wow. Han I brought somewhere. No prayer. It was wow. It was vow that gave him the throne. He was they sent him a home that he was a pastor. He was not properly born. There was no dowry on his mother and his brothers. So they sent him. But when he came, they sent for him. I will look for you. When he was going to work, so very lovely.
because of God gave me victory when he was coming back what happened his only daughter came to dance and welcome him his countenance fell but this is my commitment to God this is my commitment to God it's too great but I'll give it's too great the daughter saw it I'm sure and wanted to know like Isaac go ahead this is my commitment a man that God will elevate is the man that nothing is too big for him to give to God. You get that? Not, is, nothing is too big. In his estimate, nothing is too big to give to God. That what distinguishes Abraham, Isaac, not Ishmael, son of promise, waited for 25 years. Give him back to him at a hundred years. You just woke up a day, and after growing to about seventy years old, you say, "Bring." Ah, uh -uh. say God, give me soon. And the Bible says he says in his mind, "Even if I give him, he is able to raise him." Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You see how the confidence say, "I know God." Say, even if I kill him, God is able. To raise him. So there's nothing I give to God that is not able to give me back. And God say, Oh, now I know that you fear me. Now I'm launching you for that. I have blessed you before. Now in blessing, you are blessed. In multiplication, you multiply. And all the nations of the earth they will feed from you. We are still taking from the blessing. I'm a child of God today because I'm connected to the root of Abraham. And I'm walking the covenant of blessing of prosperity because God, because Abraham entered on my behalf. Jephthah gave that daughter to God. And he ascended the throne. Are you getting right? Ascended the throne. Let me tell you the truth about the gospel. Anyone, anything is too big to give to God cannot receive something big from God. Including your life. Praise God. I challenge, I celebrate the courage of these little girls. Is it Leah or Azufa and the others? They tell you, say, marry me. Change your religion and look at his eyes. Say, I will not, sir. Are you getting right? Possibly when he was talking to her, you know how they snap gone and all those things? And I don't think he had an idea. She had an idea if she would return from the, from the man's chamber. Will I, be, no, I will change my religion. At the expense of his life, these are two heroes of faith. Is somebody hearing me? Leah and Go. These are heroes and heroes. And is it Pastor Samuel? Say, Go, tell my wife, I die well. These are heroes of faith. Azufa, these are heroes of faith. Those who could give life. And till now, we are struggling with giving 5,000 to God. Your dream will not fail. Your dream will not fail. He promised to fulfill all my vow. I brought you all my vow to God. He said, Proverbs 7 14, he said, Today I fulfill my vows and I have food for my fellowship offering at home. <laughs> that should be end of the Proverbs 7 14. He said, I fulfill my vow. And I had a chapter. 
You hide all that. The Bible says it's better not to make and not pay. So why would you pay? Because you love that thing, that God. Number three, trust his promises. Trust that whatever God says is true. Number four, keep his words to your heart. Number five, serve him purposefully. Trust his promises. Keep his words to your heart. Serve him purposefully. All those are taken from Psalm 119, verse 140. See, your promises have been tested. So, number two, keep. Where in the field of service, where are you serving him? Are you serving him in, in soul winning? Are you serving him in singing his praise? Are you serving him even in cleaning the place? What is your contribution to the kingdom advancement? Are you serving him with your money? Are you serving him with your energy? Are you serving with your resources? Are you serving with your talent? Are you serving with your intelligence? There are various ways. David said, I your servant. And service must be purposeful. Serving God with knowledge. Jonathan told David, Today you shall be missed. Your seat will be empty. Your seat will be empty. The king had called the meeting. And if you are serving God the purpose, you should know if I'm not there today, there's a vacuum. There's something that will not be done. Oh, your seat will be empty. There will not be backup. There will not be lead vocal. There will not be cleaning. There will not be somebody to give a good smile to somebody and make I feel comfortable. He said, you'll see it. There will not be a good hand. The keyboard will not play. The bass will not play. There will not be no one to adjust the light. No one to just greet somebody. No one to do a follow-up. Is somebody with me? He said, you'll see it. But people serve God. They don't get reward because they themselves don't add value. Serving God is with discipline. He said, it's my duty. And you take it to heart. And you are the one. But, oh, today you, you, are, you are. Even God cannot rely on you. That you There's nothing. This is my duty in God's house. And it is me. It is me. And it's compelling. It's compelling. It's compelling. And because I have a duty. The Bible says the whole duty of man is to fear God. Another version says is to serve God. It is a duty to serve him. And if it's a duty, then there are rules to duty. So serve him purposefully. Not serve him because I'm available. Serve him because it is a duty. So you quench every other thing. In those days in the classroom, I will arrange my lectures. I was not a pastor. I was the prayer. And later on, joined the counseling unit to enable us because he was in a counseling. And when you would have released seminar that timetable, I would come and say, no, Tuesday is midweek service. Wednesday is prayer band. Thursday, whether counseling, or the eventually service come once in a week, it will change to Wednesday. I said, so lectures will shift. You can't give me a point where you are visiting me on Sunday morning. You see now. Don't you know I'm a Christian? People don't call me by night. Even from the village. It is Sunday. Ah, you had this church. It is the church. It is known. Make let your moderation be known to all men. They don't call you. 
But because you are expecting a cure, you will sit down. You will sit down. Praise God. Rise up, let us pray. And tell God, Lord, my dream, whatever is your dream, whatever God has laid on your heart, whatever project has impressed, whatever desire of yours you have been looking up to him for, him, there might be a setback. It's like every little aggression. It's not always true. God has a way. God's formula is not true. Open your mouth. Lord, let the full man of your promises concerning my life. No matter how things are turning, I'm seeing that things is like things are turning from bad to worse. But I just trust in your Lord. I just trust in you. I just want to trust you. Everything seems to be failing, but I know you that promise. Only hope I have is your promise. It's because that you are the one who said it. Because just because you say it, my flesh is failing. My name is failing me. My money is failing me. My natural ability is failing me. But I hold to you, the promise maker and the promise keeper. I trust your word. Your word has been tested in fire and came out seven times and came out pure. I put my hope in you. I put my trust in you. I learn to trust you today. I commit myself to in your word. I keep your word in my heart. I put your word to my heart. I declare myself as your servant. I will serve you with my strength. I will serve you with my ability. I will serve you with my intelligence. I will serve you with my talent. I will serve you with my time. I will serve you with everything you have given to me. I will serve you with my finances. I will suffer. I will suffer. Today, let me know the power of service. And let me serve you purposefully. Not just one doing job because they ask me to do. I'm doing it for a reason. Help me to locate where to serve you. And cause me to be effective in doing so. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Prince of Father. It's my week of fulfillment of all things. Every of your word concerning my life will come to pass. Lord, this month there shall be fulfillment of all things. My dream will not perish. By the scent of your water, by your word, let life come to my situation. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Are you speaking to God? Is the help we hear you? Thank you, Lord. Just speak to him. Let God's lie. The word has been to the spirit and the life. He will put you up on your feet. Your dreams on his feet. Put your dream. Ask God. This is the dream I had. He seemed to have died. But today, I pray. Put this dream back. Put it back on his feet. Let the heaven hear you. Let the heaven hear you. Let the heaven hear you loud and clear. Put my dream on his feet. Put my dream on his feet. Let life come into it. Let life come into it. Let life come into it. The word is spirit and life. Let life come into it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Begin to appreciate him. In Jesus precious name we have prayed lord we thank you promise maker promise keeper you are the promise maker you are the promise keeper you have the capacity to do what you say you will do i pray today every promise that any have taken to heart and holding you 
to it. Let there be performance this morning. In the name of Jesus. Even though I seem to have died, according to your word, say there's hope of victory. That even though it cut down, it will sprout again. I pray this morning. Let the promise come back. Let there be a fulfillment. If we need to reroute it, we root it. Take your people. This the air will not the air or to the or that will assure and reveal. Please celebrate God.